Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, January 20th. It's the second week after the Epiphany and week two in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24, and Isaiah 45, verse 18 to 25. And now please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today and harden not your heart as in the desert long ago when our forebears provoke God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Hallelujah, Psalm 31, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, and so is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my sins, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintances, they that see me avoid me. I am forgotten like the dead, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me and save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to shame, which speak grievous things, proudly and contemptuously, against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of mortals, and you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, for you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays to the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart, all of you that hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45, beginning at verse 18. For thus says the Most High, who created the heavens, He is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh. There is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, Seek me in chaos. I, the Most High, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Assemble yourselves and come together. Draw near, you survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge, those who carry about their wooden idols, and keep on praying to a God that cannot save. Declare and present your case. 
Let them take counsel together. Who told this long ago? Who declared it of old? Was it not I, Yahweh? There is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is no one besides me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn from my mouth has gone forth in righteousness, a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. Only in the Most High it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. All who were incensed against him shall come to him and be ashamed. In the Most High all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Add glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.